There is these three green ingredients to make that network work. So All right, so we run qubits, entanglement, qubits plus entanglement give us teleportation, qubits, entanglement, and quantum memories give us quantum repeaters. Right? So then we can do teleportation over longer and longer distances. Here, in this setup, these are the qubit sources. This is where we create these photons that carry superpositions that then we can send into the fiber. It's just equipment and optics, right? By the way, this is what people call Lego for adults. <laughs> right? You see all these little pieces? One by one? One, two, three, four? Yes. You need to put it together. This is what the students do. Yes. We need to carefully align everything so then everything works. <laughs> so it's it's a great it's great working in these labs because you get to do all this, put together all the electronics, etc. Right? So this is why we love doing what we do. Now I'm showing you a machine where we produce these entanglements. You see these blue boxes in there? Mm -hmm. Those are lasers. Those lasers are very particular because they are tuned to talk to atoms. Right? So all these electronics that you see here is just intended to maintain the frequency of that laser very, very stable. So now you see here where all this magic happens, right? Now we have the blue photons coming in here. They come right in this mirror. So basically they do boop, 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 here. And here inside, you see this copper part in here? Yes. That's where the crystal is. Right? This is a crystal. And that's the crystal that then splits this blue photon into two red photons. This, this is why we have this beautiful cavity system. You see there is a here a mirror, right? Mirror one, mirror two, mirror three, and mirror four, right? So then basically, by very carefully maintaining the length of these mirrors, we can then select the frequency of the photons that are coming out of the system. So then we do this with all these electronics that you see here. But by doing this, then we can guarantee that the photons that are coming out of the system, one, are entangled, and two, are exactly at the right frequency, so then we can talk to the atoms here. This Good. is working, actually. This is beautiful. This here, we are proving that we can grab that photon, we can store it in the memory, and then we can retrieve it. Right? This is basically the foolproof. Key to do teleportation. To entangle photons, we produce them there, and then we store them in the memories here and here. And now we're going to have a qubit that is produced in that lab that I showed you there, coming here. And now we need to do a measurement here, right? In order then for the qubit that we produce there to now be teleported to this other place in here. This is such measurement. Qubit comes in here. One of the entangled pairs comes in here. This is where we do the measurement. And then that's how then we can determine what was the outcome of the measurement. Two years ago, we started with this very important effort dedicated to miniaturize the components of the devices that we have here. Now we come back to the, to the shoebox. And now we're trying to put this experiment right, into a compact setup that fits tiny, right? So then we can bring these setups wherever we need them, right? So now this is what I'm going to show you next. Okay. Right? Here we have a prototype of exactly that system. Remember, this whole optical table, now it's in a box. This is the size of the box, right? All this fits inside, and oh. all what you see here is basically oh. the same guy that we have here, all these optical table, right? But now, here. And if you see this, this is rack mountable, right? This is a rack. Do you remember the box that I showed you in my lab? Yeah. Then uh, my students and him, they were able to put it in the van and then we drop with the memory to, to Brookhaven. <laughs> they are portable, right? We loaded them up in the van and brought them to Brookhaven. <laughs> he got his wife's van, and then ever since we call his van the quantum van. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I think that's the, the pure story that is really true, right? So we're not just something people are dreaming about it, we're actually doing it, right? And of course it's hard, but we are really doing it, right? And hopefully, you know, in, in one or two years, we already have 
a working prototype of this large network, right? That then we can, as you see, it does look like then we can build more and more of the system, so then we can expand it, scale it, and then make it reach over longer and longer distances. So we are not smoke and mirrors, we're actually really trying to do it. Well, there are a lot of mirrors. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs>